All right, so Bye Bye Blues is a swing tune here. Real fun tune that uh, I recommend as an, as an early uh, accessible first swing tune. Let's take a listen. I like this version here. I find a version that has vocals because the vocals are the easiest way that we can kind of follow along with the song. So let's just kind of absorb some of the song and listen to it first. So that's the tune there. I, I found a version that has that vocal so we can really hear what the melody is. Oftentimes people approach this music and they learn it from a, a kind of fancy uh, fancy uh, instrumental version, but you want to start with the, the, go back to the early versions that had the lyrics. So that's the first recommendation I have for this. Uh, the next one is that these songs have a lot more, um, a lot more chords in them and a lot more complexity to the melody. Uh, not necessarily in terms of number of notes, but in terms of being able to hear the notes and uh, there being chromatic and other sorts of notes. So, so it may be difficult to hear the key until the very end of the song. And so the first step I recommend after you've listened to it is figure out what key the song is in by listening to the last note that's being sung. Bye, 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 blues. So blues or blues, find that note on your instrument. Just found it here. It's a um, C note. So we've got that C note on the on the. Uh, I'm playing it on the G string, and uh, let's just play a now to kind of prime our fingers to find this melody. You can uh, listen to the song and play just a C pentatonic scale. Most pentat or scales in uh, melodies are made up of pentatonic scales, even if they're really complex. So let's just do that. Okay. And we have a couple of those notes down here too. Open G is in the G chance on scale, so is A. started like this. feel a 
against the, the song in the key C from D. These notes don't always fit over all the chords, but we're just going to general outline C. So that's the starting point for finding the melody and also for, for improvising, uh, which we'll talk about at the end. But let's focus on finding the melody here. So uh, I, I think a great starting point with a melody actually is after you've listened to it to start learning the chords. So the chords we can, uh, we can figure out in two ways. We can figure out the chords by singing the bass line, which I'll do for you. This takes a little bit of time to develop and I recommend kind of starting a little bit more simply than this tune, but uh, it would sound like this if we were, you can try this along with me. Uh, so, So hearing, hearing uh, chord changes uh, by listening to the bass line is something I've talked about in a separate video, and it's a little bit more challenging on this tune where there's a lot of chord changes. But uh, before you kind of name the, you know, what the chords are, I like to often just pay attention with my ear to the chords here. And uh, another thing, of course, you could do is to look up the, the chart to this. So um, I'll pull this up here, and we can play through the chord tones. I have a backing track set up here that I just found online by searching the uh, back Bye Bye Blues backing track. And so that's what we'll be seeing here. Let's play through that really slowly, uh, some of the chords. So this is just going to give our, ourselves a little bit of an outline for the melody, or help us kind of find the melody notes and make sense of the melody notes. All right, let's I'll slow this down, and let's just play through on a chop. We'll play through the, some of these chords. Okay, so the one thing that you'll notice is a little bit odd here. This G sharp or A flat is uh, a chord we probably haven't been haven't thought of playing. So what what I want you to do for that is just play that note. Um, uh, maybe play that note in the fifth above it. So so the whenever you see that note here, play this this uh, it's kind of a fun part of the song. Play this right here. <laughs> So just like a first finger across both strings. Let's kind of play it that way whenever you see. That's the weird the weird chord, but also the fun one in this one. So, so let's play along with the chords here. Let's see the speed, how it is. There we go, that's a good speed. C. To G sharp. To C. I like thinking of that as A flat. I'm going to call it that A now. D. G. I'm just doing kind of a soft, loud, soft, loud thing. Flat. 
try singing the melody. Da, 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 actually as we do this let's see see if I can feed you some of these lyrics and uh, you could sing along with the melody here this time I want you to trace the melody though find the contour and shape of it all right so the first line is bye bye blues bye bye blues all right one two sing and trace the melody bye bye I don't sigh. Don't cry. Don't sigh. Sun is shining. Sun is shining. No more pining. No more pining. Just we two. Just we two. Smiling through. Smiling through. Don't cry. Don't sigh. chords here. C. So notice how I'm, I'm kind of playing this like a guitarist would where I'm doing soft, loud, soft, loud. a couple accompaniment uh, styles that you can use over these chords. The most simple is this uh, kind of like a bluegrass chop, but you instead instead of going on just the two and four, I kind of play soft loud like this. So that's kind of a real common way to sound like a guitarist and to kind of, if, you know, if there's only another bass player that can cover the accompaniment just fine. Another strategy you could use is um, doing the same rhythm but plucking like a guitar. So you can do this with double stops or I usually do three note chords. So if you watch me kind of play this song, um, how I might pluck it would sound like this. This this is a really helpful thing if, you know, I learned a lot of these chords from playing mandolin, but you can also learn them on fiddle. So bye, bye, blues. I play the A flat like that. Bye. Bye, blues. Bye, bye. Uh, 
don't sigh. But, um, sun is shining. No more pie. You can play a G like that. Just we two. I play A flat like that. Smiling through. I play A like that. Don't cry. Don't sigh. Bye bye blues. So I think that like you know it's it's not a particularly loud technique, but if you don't need to add a lot of volume and if you're just trying to help your ear hear the notes, that strategy can be really nice. So those chords that I use there, I'll just kind of zoom in again. I'm doing C, E, C for the C chord. I'm doing A flat, E flat, C for the A flat or G sharp chord. I'm doing, um, for an A chord, I'm doing A, E, C sharp. For the G chord, I'm doing just, you know, open G, D, B, and, and a G on the E string. And I think that's all of it. D chord, I was, you could do this. Um, I like to do this for the D chord. So these are things that you can kind of memorize like a guitar player would. Um, just like the easiest way to play each chord as a, as a little um, plucked chord. Um, or you can kind of figure out your own by just combine, you know, taking two double stops. Like this is a double stop. And this is the double stop, and that makes a chord, right? So you can come up with your own, or you can memorize the easiest form. I think they're hard enough to do three and four note chords on fiddle, so I like to just find the easiest version of each, like three, three or four note chord when I'm doing this sort of accompaniment. Um, this being said, you know, if you have a guitarist, you don't have to bother with that. <laughs> I, I, I will say though that um, that finding the melody can be easier if you if you strum the chords like mm, bye bye. Mm, mm, bye bye. You know, I can find those notes more easily if I'm singing or playing the chords. Blues, right? And it's pretty satisfying. So anyway, that's uh, those are two ways of accompanying. Um, the final thing you could do, of course, is just like a bluegrass player would, just kind of play at random times, like in and out. So that might sound something like uh, if that would be more of a traditional kind of jazzy style where where it might sound something like this. Let's see. Play along with this song. background notes like that and things like sort of like a, how my piano player might play and uh, you could do fills of course but we're gonna that's kind of ba some basic accompaniment ideas let's find the melody now so play that C chord and sing bye bye big jump right so find that first note it's in a C chord bye. there it is E note so you can play it up here or here I'm gonna play the kind of in the lower register first. So we've got bye, and then big jump down the scale. So bye bye. There it is. Open G. And then that next note is blues. It's over that A flat chord, right, or G sharp. So that kind of tells us hmm, that's a weird chord. I wonder what the note might be for the melody over an A flat chord. Well, it, because it's a really weird chord, it's probably gonna be the note of that chord, and it happens to be that. Bye bye blues. It's that A flat note right there. So, uh, notice that we're finding the melody only after we've sung it a bunch, we've played the chords, we've given a good context for our ear. Uh, you could also play along to help you to find, well, we'll, we'll find the notes just generally first, and then you know, practicing it and, and finding it along with the recording can be really helpful. So we've got bye bye blues, bye bye, same as the beginning. 
But the second note is over an A chord, so blue. So you can use the chord to help you find the note. It's an A chord, so it's probably a note in the A chord. Blue. There it is. It happens to be an A note. Yeah. So that's our, our little intro there. Bye bye blues. Bye bye blues. And now we've got don't cry, don't sigh. Don't cry, don't sigh. There it is. It's a B note there. So I'm just kind of climbing down. I'm, I'm using the C major scale because we're in the key of C. This happens to be a note outside of the pentatonic scale, so we didn't, you know, it might be harder to hear for our ear, but don't cry, don't sigh. And then we've got sun is shining, no more pining. So it's kind of this little cascade. Sun is shining, no more pining. Starting on a D note. Sun is shining, no more pining. Right? So that's pretty easy to find. It's just kind of a little cascade. Let's play that much along with the melody here. goes to that A flat chord again or the G sharp so but that's that happens to be the note for the melody let's see if we can play that uh, that whole melody now along with the singers again kind of leave that you know the rest of the song of course in, in swing music you'll notice that the solos don't always quote the melody sometimes they're just kind of like noodly like this piano solo here And so in swing music, as opposed to, say, bluegrass and country music, where the solos are more often based on the melody, oftentimes you'll sing or play the melody to start a swing tune, and then solos tend to be um, improvised completely. Now, instead of using the, the melody as the, as the basis for making a solo, a lot of times people will use the chords as a basis for soloing. So people call it the difference between harmonic or melodic soloing or, or uh, improvisation. Right. And so 
um, a great starting point for this is to use the pentatonic scale associated with the key of the song. So if you notice, you know, even if I'm uh, just using C pentatonic, I can play, you know, a lot of notes that fit, even if I'm, if, even if I don't know the chord. So I'll demonstrate that. to only use C pentatonic there and really just focus more on kind of playing with good rhythm. And so that's a starting point. You know, there's obviously going to be, you know, notes that don't necessarily fit there, but um, that's a great starting point. And the next the next place we can go is is uh, is to major blues. But let's try that together. I'll give you some ideas to echo um, for this. So I'm just going to give you short C pentatonic ideas. <laughs> you a, a good starting place for just you know getting more in the groove um, and just focusing on rhythm right outside of that the next logical step would be to add the blues notes because blue blues notes are, are uh, you know a big influence on this on this music so going from a C pentatonic to C major blues <laughs> That E flat note is going to fit in a lot of different places. So, 
So adding that note, which is kind of from that major blues pentatonic scale, you've, you've probably seen my um, PDF on that or the or the uh, videos on, on how to play the pentatonic or the uh, major blues scale. It just looks like this. <laughs> Um, so it has that E, it's the same pentatonic scale, but with an E flat in it. The power of that scale, I'll show you. I'll just play some ideas, each starting on an E flat note. You echo me. of kind of flavor to the melody there um, I'm gonna let you kind of use that I'm gonna slow down the track a little bit and have you just experiment with that for a couple rounds we'll come back to the chords and then we'll finish with the melody that'll be a good introduction to this tune here um, all right so I'm just gonna put this backing track on this little simple backing track I'm gonna slow it down and I want you to mess around with that that uh, major blues scale here I'll do it with you the first time and then I'll kind of let you explore it on your own all right, so C major blues, kind of just listening to the recording, trying to stay in the groove of it all. Here we go. Two. I'll play it with you.
let's finish with uh, let's finish with playing the melody here. One one more time through the chords first, and then we'll play the melody. And that that'll be a little wrap on this tune here. So starting our first chord is going to be a C chord, and then moving to the A flat or the G sharp chord. Let's just play in any accompaniment style you like, either the. Uh, So that is a little introduction to Bye Bye Blues, and that's a song that I found a nice vocal recording of to learn the melody from. I looked up a chart by finding, uh, looking up a backing track on YouTube, and we, I followed along with the chords. We traced the, the outline of the melody. We've tried to maybe sing along with the bass line if we're used to doing that and discovering bass or, uh, chords by ear. We talked about finding the key being the last note of the, uh, it's a little bit more challenging this music, but it's the last note of the, of the melody. We played the pentatonic scale along with the song so we can get sort of some of the notes in our head. We uh, sang the melody, traced it, played the chords, then we started finding the melody notes on our instrument. And once we found the melody and we knew the chords, then we kind of went into this kind of, uh, you know, outside of the melody harmonic approach to soloing, which is a little bit more free, but sometimes more challenging. Some people find if they don't do it that often. Um, and that is the starting place for that is pentatonic and major blues. And then eventually we want to kind of be nodding to the chord changes and making decisions and, and kind of hearing ideas that are more based on the chords of the song, which can be a little bit more challenging in this genre. That's the, that's the challenge is there's more chords. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed that lesson and you want to uh, take a look at uh, any of that part again, feel free to replay it. But we'll kind of end our lesson there on Bye Bye Blues. <laughs>